but the only die I have that's close to the inch and a quarter is an inch and a half that I used to bend the cage with. And I wasn't going to buy a die just to make six or eight bends in a piece of aluminum tubing. So this is actually inch and a quarter PVC. And what I found was it was just a little too wide, too thick right here. So when you try to push it all in, it won't quite go in. So what I did is I took a wood rasp and thinned it on the upper and the top and bottom edges. So you can see the difference in what I took off the edges right there. Just wanted to show you what I did to get that off the edges. Just used a wood rasp and clamped this in a vise over a piece of tubing so it didn't shake all over the place. And then just worked it as I needed it. So that it would all fit into the die. The piece that goes into the clamp, since the clamp is a little bit wider, it didn't have to have any taken off of it. I have two pieces that go in the clamp, a long one like that, and then a short one, so that if I have to bend where there's a curve, put this towards the back edge of the clamp and I can let the tubing fall back a little bit so I can get the curves a little bit closer together. Doesn't help much, but it helps a little bit. The other piece that I made is the piece for the shoe that the tubing slides through. And I left a lip on it so it could grab onto the shoe. It just sets into the shoe like that. So the lip can catch on that, keep it from sliding through. And believe it or not, that actually worked. So here's the bender with everything set up in it. I Cut a little piece of inch and a half tubing so the bolt would tighten against it and wouldn't scar the aluminum tubing. And that's what it looks like set up. Piece. There's the AC. Oh yeah, we now have air conditioning in the shop here. I love it. Anyway. Say hello to my best friend. I don't keep it super cool in here, but cut it down to about 80 degrees. It knocks about 15 or 20% off the humidity.